Okay, this video is going to be about something called Vector. Um, Vector is a graphic design tool. Um, this is the website here. And where it is is that uh, it's uh, an alternative to things like Adobe and that. And it's quite easy to use. You can actually um, download Vector or you can actually use it online. So, for example, um, I'll give all the websites and stuff like that in, in the description. Um, but this is just basically the, uh, the home page. Quick, easy to learn. Uh, a URL for every design, which means your URL can be on the website um, of Vector. Okay. And what Vector is, uh, is SVGs, which is Scalable Vector graphics which means that it doesn't lose in size it doesn't matter what size it is the quality will always be there which you can't get in jpegs or pngs although GMP, jpegs and pngs are also um you can put your files into that as well so there's um it's a you know if you have a transparent thing you can put it in png okay so that's basically uh, what the home page is there anyway so if you wanted to do this online you would just pick a new file okay and this will come up as you see and I've actually got this downloaded so the downloaded uh, version is here so it's all it's probably identical um, so uh, this actually is for Windows uh, Mac operating system and it's also Ubuntu as well on Linux but I also have it on Linux Mint it doesn't work as well on Mint as it does on Ubuntu but it still works um, so basically um, yeah this is on online I just go back to the vector and all your um you know your work is online here so you just go to your profile once you've logged in and all the rest of it and you've made stuff and what i use this uh tool for is is basically just mocking up things so uh, whether it's uh, logos um charts pie charts app uh interfaces um i've got all sorts of things album covers like this one here deep purple um I use things for emoticons, banners, uh, business cards. You can use uh, hood design as well with this. You can almost use everything uh, with that. You've always got to bear in mind with SVGs uh, in a website will sometimes be more um, kilobytes than, say, a JPEG or a PNG. So I would say that do things like logos or banners and these things and you should be okay um, so things like YouTube this is where it would I just copy the YouTube thing so this is what it looks like uh, quite similar I would think so yeah it's a it's a very it's a very uh, intuitive tool it's very good and it's getting better all the time so for example if you wanted to you've got a page there on the left hand side um, you've got your page and if you went down to here you've got your page settings so for example you could custom size okay so you can have facebook cover photo i'm not going to go all the way through these but you can have twitter headers youtube uh channel things uh linkedin banners screen sizes like macbooks and your paper size as well like a1 a2 and all the rest of it so you can really uh do what you want with that okay the normal size uh, default size is 640 uh, width and height okay so on the right hand side of this it's a really a snap and, and grid it's snap grid or non the next one will be uh, in the, uh, this thing here pixels points centimeters millipe uh, millimeters uh, inches and feet uh, pixels by default the one i used to and you export it here at the top there yeah svg png jpeg like i've said before um you can download it you can print it you can share it with uh, your pinterest uh, sorry pinterest twitter or facebook um so yeah so that's also good um so you just 
I don't. And if you want the, the new file, we just do that, and the rest an information thing help. On the left hand side, you've got layers, which is keeps your history. So the pages, for example, if you do this here, that is your square or rectangle. So you can do just do that. That's your shape. So layers that will be your rectangle path. And for example, if you do another one, which is an ellipse. All right. So that keeping your history, you know, there. So you can actually lock it, and so and you can take it. Uh, where you only see in that because you've unlocked that and you've got the uh, so you can see both and you can just chop, chop and change all you want on on the right hand side you've got all the all the tools which tell you which color you want for example here you can go down image uh, li uh, linear gradient or radial gradient a linear gradient and then you can go in this little box here and then you can just put red um this mark here has this is the red bit okay so it goes like round like that and the bottom bit here is a dark color and you just click that and you can have for example green oops there you go so there you would have that as your gradient so that's just a demonstration of what you can do with them um, you can have borders as well. You just click the right box here and you can also have other things like uh, another borders or you can have another color. You can have all sorts of things on there. You can have shadows as well. Um, all manner of things really. And it's uh, there you can see the shadow on the ellipse. Okay. Um, it's also got the uh, pen tool. And this is uh, something that you would, you can actually do uh, corners with, round corners. You just do that, press enter, okay. And it has all these uh, things where you can, you know, mess around with it. And then you can do circles with that. And that's where you get your arcs and all the rest of it. And you can create fancy shapes and... Uh, there's so much you can do with this program. It really, yeah, it's. I've used it now for about eight or nine months, and all the time it's getting better. If you um, want new features and things like that, or the or there's a bug, um, they write on it. You know, there's the um, very very good at getting getting things done. You can also upload your own image. You know, upload image, uh, whichever one you wanted, and things like that, um, and you can there's lots of other shapes here triangles and octagons and stars and uh things like uh you know home icon you've got things like settings uh there's, there's, there's lots and lots of things you can do with it um and this has become my tool of choice for uh when i need to do graphics but this is uh this is fantastic thing for web designers um, just to get your ideas, you don't have to like do a whole, you know, a whole thing. Or it might just be uh, prototype and things, which is what I use. This it's actually taken over what I would use uh, in drawn. Anyway, so you have here, if you click that at the top, okay, all your stuff which is synchronized actually on their site. So if you went there, my profile, all this is synced. Okay. So it's synced from uh, from what you're doing. On um, I've got this uh, on my uh, Windows machine I'm using here at the moment, uh, but it is synchronized with their site online. Okay, so this, for example, open. This is just a Batman uh, logo thing, and there's, there's so much you can do with uh, this program. Uh, don't want to go into too much detail and, and uh, if you want to ask questions uh, something specific about this um, I know this is like a, a basic uh, overview um, but it's it is quite an easy tool to use certainly for you know getting simple things like logos you can uh, you can do that they've also got lots of tutorials uh, vector themselves um, they've actually got a course on Udemy which is free and the uh, program itself is also free as well so I just thought I'd uh, 
bring this program to your attention because it could uh, interest quite a few of you, I would imagine. So again, thanks for watching and thanks for listening.